Hello everyone. This video is uh, about meditation on the theme from Srimad Bhagavatam, the most important scripture in the in the Vedic literature. There isn't anything like Srimad Bhagavatam. Mahapuran, also called Srimad Bhagavatam. It has 335 or 345 chapters, 12 cantos and 18,000 verses. This is such a glorious, magnificent, iconic a scripture that words can never describe. It has got all the knowledge that anyone needs to know, but it cannot be understood or learnt by our own efforts. We have to we have to receive the knowledge through a bona fide teacher. I don't quite qualify to talk about this scripture but I have been a teacher of Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran for some years and though I would like to consider myself as a student but whatever I have learnt I am so much ever willing to share because sharing helps me to deepen my knowledge and secondly I feel that whoever has got a human birth cannot but listen to the, the golden nuggets, the wisdom, the sweet nectarian messages, the stories, the episodes from this amazing scripture. So let us begin with something very important, it is called Chatush Loki Bhagavat or the entire knowledge about God in four verses. So the context is, for those who don't quite buy in the theory of the Big Bang and the theory of the Darwinian model, the the evolution theory proposed by Charles Darwin that man evolved from the amoeba, the bacteria, the hydra, the mammal, the crustacean, the birds and the monkeys. Because there are so many flaws in all those theories. So where do we go to learn about the creation? I couldn't find anything as glorious, as magnificent, as logical, as uh, beautiful, as soul enlivening, as the knowledge in Bhagavat Mahapuran. So what are these four verses? This is when God creates one universe. So the energy of God which is all in the dormant state is called Prakriti, the mother nature. It transforms into Mahatattva which is again the unmanifest energy and then it transforms into different different branches of energy which are ahankar then panchtan matra the five sense perceptions for example the touch the sound the sight the smell the form the five gross bodies fire water earth air space mind which is also called man buddhi the intellect 
एंड अहंकार आई जस्ट स्पोक बिकॉज प्रकृति द मदर नेचर हैज थ्री डिविजन्स सात्विक राजसिक तामसिक द मोड ऑफ गुडनेस द मोड ऑफ पैशन एंड द मोड ऑफ इग्नरेंस सो विद द इंट्रैक्शन ऑफ दीज थ्री मोड्स द एलिमेंट अहंकार क्रिएट्स दीज फाइव सेंस परसेप्शंस एंड द फाइव ग्रॉस एलिमेंट्स ऑल्सो देर आर फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ लाइफ एयर प्राण अपान उदान व्यान समान so all these elements if we add the source of all these power which is the god himself who is called purush so purush and prakriti and all these elements taken together they add up to 25 and these 25 elements finally transform into this universe which has got the land the mountain the ocean the water the river the trees the animals the humans the insects the butterflies so everything is so very well described and the first personality who is born is brahma he is the four headed brahma who is born from garbhodakshay vishnu and that brahma when he is created he doesn't understand the purpose of his creation he sits in meditation and then he is visited by the lord who makes him visit his abode and lord brahma describes what he sees and after the conversation the knowledge is imparted by the supreme lord to brahma in these four verses which is called chatur shloki bhagavat the first two verses are ahame va sab me vagre nanyad yat sad sat param यते दच्छ पश्चादम यते दच्छ सो अविष्यति अविष अविष्यति सो अस्मि अहम एंड द सेकंड वर्स इज रिते अर्थम यत प्रतीयेत न प्रतीयेत चात्मनि and tatha bhaso tatha tamah i haven't quite memorized all the four verses but i'm very close to but let me explain the meaning which is so fascinating the first verse says that god is saying that before creation i was there and whatever you see in the creation is also me and whatever shall remain after dissolution is also me knowledge number 1 knowledge number 2 is what is real but appears unreal and what is unreal appears real is my material energy maya this is the second statement by god and the example is the reflection in the mirror it is not real but it appears real and the second example is the planet rahu planet k planet rahu in the sky which is real but it is not visible so the lord says consider this to be my maya and material energy the third knowledge is the lord says i am in you but i am also not in you and the meaning is the soul that is we 
are part of God, but then we are not the complete. We are only an ansh, a fraction. We are integrated, we are connected, but we are not the whole. In that sense, God is not in us, but because we are the ansh, we are the energy of God, we can also say God is within us. This is the third knowledge and the fourth knowledge is based on the logic called Anve and Vyatirek which works on the process of elimination. First consider the truth and then the reverse. So it says this is God, this is God, this is God and then it analyzes and says this is not God, this is not God, this is not God and comes to the conclusion that everything is God, everything is the Supreme Almighty. And finally it says that if we can understand this knowledge about Atma and Paramatma, there is nothing else that needs to be understood. So amazing theme for our meditation and since we are Picking it up from Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran, the highest piece of literature, we are so blessed. So, let's practice on these four verses. I also have to practice to memorize them. And then, let's meet up again with another topic from Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran. See you. Take care.